Hello, I'm Natalie Dupree here for postandcourier.com and I have the most delicious little melt-in-your-mouth biscuits. They're hardly biscuits, they're just something to hold ham inside of them. They're Senator Holland's cream cheese biscuits. I'm doing a half recipe for you. You'll do a whole recipe, but I'll tell you what the whole recipe is. You're going to use a whole eight ounce package of cream cheese and two thirds of a cup of butter and one cup of self rising flour. And the self rising flour is important. And you want the, everything to be at room temperature, the butter, the cream cheese and the flour and put them in a food processor and whir them around. This is an ideal food processor recipe, but if you want to do it by hand, you certainly can cut, the, cut it in. And then pull out the dough. And you can see this is still wet. I'm just going to do a little one for you because I'm going to roll out a big one. And put your, your cream cheese ball onto a floured ball, a board, roll it around, flatten it out, and I would do a half of the recipe really, and put it in a plastic bag like this and chill it so you can work with it, because otherwise it is a mess. Now, let me show you how to roll out the chilled one. You know, flour is different every day. Today is a rainy day. So if that mixture is too wet for you to roll out, you can always add more flour. This is a very short dough. It's almost like a cookie dough. There's no water in it. So it's not going to get tough no matter what you do to it, unless you add water. So here's my half of a recipe of the dough. And I'm just going to add a little more flour there. And then you can pound it if you want to. You can do anything with it because you can hurt this dough as much as you want to. It's so indestructible. It's not like a regular biscuit. It's, uh, it doesn't matter. And roll it uh, somewhere between oh, around a half an inch thick. But you can do it much thinner if you want to, but not if you're going to sandwich it with biscuits. But like if you just wanted to do jelly on it, then you could. Get it about half an inch thick and use a ruler to do that and get it a nice wide then take a a little cutter a little biscuit cutter or a tiny little jar like mm, maybe a hot sauce jar I don't know whatever you've got and you go around you always start cutting from the outside and you cut and move over to a baking sheet. You're going to bake these at 425. If you feel like you should chill them, do that if they're real wet. But the reason you divided the dough in half was so that you would only work with half at a time. And these could be baking while you are doing the rest. So bake them at 525, 425 for about five minutes. Keep an eye on them. They're tricky. If your oven doesn't brown properly, turn the pan so that all the uh, biscuits are the same color. You can see here where we didn't turn the pan, then they, they have different colors and that's not very nice. Okay, now here's your biscuit. You want to slice it in half. Never aim a knife towards your hand and put your country ham snugly in the center. You can add something else if you want to, but you really don't need much. If you wanted to add a dot of, of mustard or a dot of, uh, of pepper jelly, you could do that. But there, here they are, and there you are, pretty little melt-in-your-mouth cream biscuits. I'm Natalie Dupree, here for postandcourier.com.